Hey there, I'm Sean Collins, and I'm the eSports reporter with the Dallas Morning News, covering the Dallas Fuel and Optic Texas. And today I published an article talking about the Dallas Fuel and some of the changes and challenges that will come with Overwatch 2, as you can see on the screen here. Uh, just before I get straight into what I want to talk about, you can uh, subscribe to the Dallas Morning News eSports channel right here. I just post some small videos. It's uh, not the main thing that we do, but we are trying to pump it up. Um, you can follow me on Twitter right here, at Sean Z. Collins. This is where you're going to see anything that I post about the Fuel or Optic Texas or North Texas Esports. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the Dallas Morning News, you can do so for free for the first month with that code right there, Sean C. And then I believe it is pretty cheap after that for the first three months. Um, but yeah, I I spoke with uh, with Rush and Edison and Guerrillo and Chio uh, over the past couple weeks. Um, and I, I did want to just like talk a little bit because there have been uh, some reports coming out that uh, Overwatch League teams will get uh, a beta version of Overwatch 2 here in a couple weeks, which would give them about two months to play on it before the season starts, which, to be honest, is a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't really know what it was going to look like, but... Um, if that is uh, true and officially confirmed, I was unable to confirm it today with an Overwatch League spokesperson, but if that is confirmed, then Overwatch League teams will have uh, about two months to play on it. And I got to talk with Rush just a little bit about Overwatch 2, and he says, listen, like all the teams are in the same spot right now. Uh, they just want the game to come out fast so that they can play it. Uh, you know, the play test over at, at, during the Grand Finals of the 2021 season was not enough time and, and hardly enough to understand the game. Um, and But you can check out the rest of this article at, at your own leisure, but I wanted to talk about something just a little bit else, and like, I'm not sure people quite understand how much uh, is going to change with the Overwatch League with this 5 versus 5 uh, movement here. It, it's, it's a really big deal. It's going to change how every single role is played. It's going to change how heroes are played. It's going to change metas and everything. So, uh, you know, the Dallas Fuel and other Overwatch League teams, they can't really practice anything other than mechanics right now because it's very likely that the game is just going to completely change uh, in terms of strategizing within the game. Um, the Fuel have a couple new pieces that are going to make it different too. They have a hit scan player in Edison la this year and they did not have a hit scan player at all last year, so that's a pretty big deal. Uh, the the things that the Fuel were doing last year, and you know, they might not be able to do it with a Cassidy or a Widowmaker in the lineup. Um, so this is this is a pretty big deal. Um, I know that Guerrillo himself was looking forward to Overwatch 2, and he seemed to be a lot more uh, optimistic about it than maybe some other people because of the 5 versus 5 change, but uh, I think that it's probably a healthy mindset for the Fuel to ignore what things might be inconveniences and just focus strictly on gameplay, and I imagine that's what Rush is going to do. He's coming off of uh, a Coach of the Year season last year, and the Fuel, while third place was uh, was much better than anything else in uh, prior franchise history, third place is not what they're looking for. They want to win a world title, uh, and the best way to do that is kind of just embrace whatever Overwatch 2 is going to be.